So, the disclaimer, I was in a car accident recently and I hurt my wrist. My wrist is in a excruciating, a lot of pain right now. You probably can't tell, but I am hurting really, really bad. Um, but so long as I don't move like that or I kind of just like relax, I should be okay. But it's hurting really bad. So. The following footage shows someone who's by himself inside a gym when something terrifying happens. Emily Ruiz, who suggested the video, writes, Words cannot explain this disturbing footage. The person in the video had obtained this recording from the gym and sent it to a friend who we hear speaking in the video. This is what was captured. Que pasaron cosas muy extrañas, la madre, hasta una, ma hasta una máquina se movió. Vea, mire, explíqueme eso. Holy shit! They don't, got, they, 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 they don't have a gym just for ghosts? That would have been nice. Get the hell out of here. I'm trying to do my workout. I'm trying to get these gains popping. I can't. I cannot do this with you over here working out. You don't see that shit? Those who've seen the footage were left unsettled by this terrifying encounter. At the start of the video, we can see that someone or something is peeking at this person. This is something you might have missed. Now, it's worth mentioning that another camera had recorded this from a different angle. By looking at this specific footage, we can see that the facility has open windows. It could be that the wind from outside the room was causing the ropes to move on their own. My eyes. But if that were the case, then other things in the room should have moved as well, especially the towel on the box, which appears light enough to move just a bit, but it doesn't. The wind could also explain the ball's movement. But mind you, this is a medicine ball. It would take more than just a gust of wind to be able to move something this heavy. I'm saying. But what's even more baffling about this footage is how the person gets dragged across the floor. It could be that he was doing this on his own, moving his body in such a way to make it seem as though he were being dragged. However, a closer look at this scene shows that he was jerked in a forceful manner, which is almost impossible to do on one's own. Other things in the video remain questionable, such as lights turning off on their own, or whatever this is. I'll leave it to you to come up with your own conclusion on this footage. Feel free to let me know what you think. God damn. A grandmother is alone with her grandson. You know? If you told me, if you randomly told me to look at this video with a grandmother and a grandson, you, you could have just left it at that. You could have just left it at that. Because everything from that point on is caught. I promise you that. something downright creepy is caught on camera. The grandmother who posted this video states that she gave her grandson her phone to play with. Little did she know that he was recording during this time. It wasn't until a few months later when she was going through her phone that she saw this video. The grandmother writes, this video shook me to my core. Unfortunately, it shook me so much that I moved out of there two weeks after I found this. Even after two years, I still won't go over there. This is what was caught. Be sure to pay close attention to the background or you'll miss it. Uh, 
change your butt. You smell like you're poopy. I don't see nothing. Everything's moving kind of quick. Oh shit! Holy shit! First of all, see that's that that's that that's that old people shit I be talking about. They are deaf. Old people, sixty and up, are definitely in cahoots. Cause how the clock? Did you not know there was something or someone standing right there? Come to come on, man. Go back. That was that, right? That's what they were talking about, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. If no one else was home, then who or what was this? This is what I'm saying. It's worth mentioning that the grandmother's husband had his mother live in their house for almost six years before passing away. Viewers think that this might be her ghost, but again, it's not certain if that's the case. As always, what are your thoughts? Ghost or something else? It's late at night and two friends. I like, I like playgrounds, but at night it's a totally different story. Or hanging out in front of a school when they see something that terrifies them. Daniel Guy posted the following video and writes, This video comes from a friend who was visiting his old elementary school. Another friend had come with him. They promptly left after this incident. This is what they caught. Oh, shit. Dude, I'm actually I'm freaking out. I'm gonna... But you can't be that freaking out. You can't be that scared. You can't be that, you know what I mean? Because you're, so first of all, you're still recording. Second of all, you're standing there. In the clock zone. So you can't be that scared. Like, come on, man. You ready there for that? Where'd he go? I don't see him no more. But you either ready for that clock, man, or you ready for your life to end. Dude, it gets more... Dude, that thing looks like it's looking right at us like this. Like this. If that shit starts running, it's rats. If it starts running towards you, it's rats. Or if it starts running in general, it's rats. Who man is this that? Hold on. What the? Every time I move closer, it looks more. Oh. And then you want to move closer. And like a figurine. I did not see that when we passed. What? What? Do you, okay. You know, yeah. Uh -huh. This. There appears to be a small child standing outside at night. Yeah, I'm not. You sound. You sound. You sound confident. You sound 100% sure that that's a child. Like, like that's a human child. Ooh, ooh. nobody knows that. Nobody knows that. It could be a. It, that's a 50 50 shot you got. That's a 50 50 chance. It's a human child, or it's a demon child. You don't know. You, you don't know. Or it's an alien. You don't know. But there's something uncanny about this child. The fact that it's late at night. And a child is by itself makes this unsettling. I'm saying. But what's even more strange about this supposed child is that it doesn't move. In fact, it appears to be completely still. The idea of this being a doll is a possibility. But if that were the case, then that would make this even more creepy. Seeing a life-size doll in the middle of the night is enough to make anyone head back home. But what do you think? Could this have been a life-size doll? Or something else. I'll leave it to you to decide. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. 
Okay, you got it. This next clip was uploaded by Rink in person, who noticed something strange in the background of a Japanese TV show. What's strange is that goddamn haircut. It appears that no one had noticed until this video was posted. Be sure to look closely at the fridge on the right, or you'll miss it. That's the grudge or the ring. I think they both the same person. God damn it. Again, again, how do you not notice this shit? You don't see it, you don't hear it, you don't sense it, you don't do nothing. Like how? How are all your senses dead when this shit like this happens? If that's not disturbing, then I don't know what is. Now, viewers think that this might have been a crew member of the show who accidentally appeared on camera. That could be the case, but the appearance of this person is just very unsettling. It is for this reason that some viewers think that this might not be a person, but something else. Of course, no one knows for sure. What do you make of this video? Real or fake? Real as shit. You let me know. Carrie Berry is home alone with her dog. What the fuck? Why that dog look like that? That dog is staring at some shit. God damn, that dog is still as shit. She's acting very strange. She begins to record and captures this. Oh my God, that's creepy. Oh my God. I just got to chill. I just got to chills, man. Oh my God. Oh my god, don't look at me. What are you doing? That was a spirit, I saw it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Given the belief that dogs can sense things that we can't, viewers can't help but think that Carrie's dog is sensing a spirit. Now, it could be that her dog's attention is being directed towards the shadow cast by a ceiling fan. Another theory is that her dog is going through a trance. Either one could be the case. But viewers seem to be leaning more towards the belief of this being a paranormal encounter. Ghost or not, the video itself is pretty eerie. Jesus. The following image was submitted by Evan Costar, who writes, the mother in this picture had taken a photograph of her son. Nothing unusual stood out in the photo until her husband took a look and saw something in the background. To this day, they don't know what that thing is that's in the back. This is what they caught. Oh, shit. Now that's creepy. I have no idea as to who or what was in the back, but I'll leave it to you to come up with your own theory. Feel free to share down below. Ghost hunter Grisel Luna visits an abandoned house and captures something creepy. This house is said to have belonged to an old lady who lived there her entire life until recently passing away. The appearance of the building unsettles Grisel, but she quickly overcomes this feeling after going inside. But little does she know that the following would happen. When she uploaded the video, she was shocked to see that she had caught something that went unnoticed. As Grisel approaches one of the windows on the house, she captures this. Gustaría pedir la presencia. Es algo que estaba haciendo últimamente. Pedir la presencia de este ser, de los seres que ya no están en este mundo, que ya están en el más allá. You got it. A shadowy figure is seen moving inside the building. Could this have been a squatter? Or 
the old lady that is said to have lived there. Bofo! Viewers think that this might have been the old lady. But again, I'll let you form your own opinion. Let me know what you think. Squatter or old lady? Bofo! You let me know. Bofo! Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time. Oh, okay. This, I have diarrhea. Not diarrhea, but like, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna have to poop. And I know, I know the type of poop it, it, it is, and it's a bad, like, it's a watery type of poop. I'm sorry for anybody that has even stuck around this long to hear me say that, and I'm so sorry if you're eating right now, but if there's any, um, hold on, the one that really stuck out to me was, I want to say this one, number five. Hell yeah. God, Jesus. Oh my. It's, it's, oh. That right there, that little kid looking thing, raises so many red flags. And we don't, we still don't know what that thing is. Um, but, oh god damn. <laughs> But if there's anything you want me to react to, let me know that in the comment section below. But as always, keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you, stay happy. My family, I have to go take care of this shit.